So the role of OGL in South Lebanon uh, is fourfold. Uh, we observe, monitor, report and investigate uh, any incidents that could lead to violations of uh, Security Council Resolution 1701. That includes us being out on the blue line, observing there, but also in the villages within the AO. Uh, at the moment, Observer Group Lebanon has 55 military observers uh, from 22 different countries. We are different from uh, Unifil peacekeepers in uh, several aspects. Uh, first of all, we are unarmed. We don't carry any weapons with us. We're all uh, officers from our host nations, uh, between the rank of captain and major, with between 10 and 30 years of experience in our uh, nation's military. Uh, when we arrive in the mission, we have a four to eight week period where we need to become certified as a military observer. This includes learning uh, a great deal of knowledge about the history of the Blue Line, the current state of the Blue Line, all the incidents that have happened in South Lebanon in recent history, plus the religious and the political history and state that the country is in at the moment. About South Lebanon, I like the most that it is so diverse. It is basically a beautiful part of the country. It's, uh, it's not only its uh, landscapes, nature and the food, of course. Uh, it's, it's really the people. We are, we are very welcome here and they want to tell us their stories and what they have experienced. And this is a very fascinating and amazing part here in the area.